Hey everyone, Rob here, and we got another update on the eruption that occurred earlier in July uh, and the hazard assessment map that has been going on uh, for the past little while. Now, we know that the Icelandic Meteorological Office has put out these maps before and indicated which, which areas have been designated as danger zones. Now, the danger zone, which you can see here, uh, this red is this danger zone that they've said and they've updated it from Kjellir all the way down to Miradalud and and sort of the old eruption site um, but the danger zone is now where new lava can form uh, and can just sort of pop up at any time it says that the seismic data has been reviewed new models have been run and they now better estimate the location of the magma tunnel that formed on the eve of the eruption and as a result uh, they decided to expand the danger zone where you know new lava new eruptions or, or openings in the earth can form and the volcano tunnel now extends from Kjellir which is up in this top area here uh, all the way down to Meridalur as you can see here so there's this blue line that's kind of indicating the area and you can see this red dot is where the eruption has formed so far and then uh, the purple is where the lava is sort of flowing as it is right now. So which is kind of going in the direction that uh, that we've already had. So now they meet every morning with emergency responders to review the activity of the eruption. And at these meetings, the danger zones that are present at any given time, what can affect the conditions, the volcano, the eruption, everything is reviewed. Uh, and it's important to keep in mind that the immediate vicinity of the eruptions is an extremely dangerous area. And conditions can change quickly. I know everyone is super excited to go uh, and they're walking paths, but you have to remember the dangers. And the Meteorological Society, or an Iceland office in Iceland, they wanted to indicate the main dangers in this immediate vicinity, and that is persistent gas pollution. And the risk increases when the wind subsides. Now, hazardous gases can collect in sort of these depressions in lower areas and can even be fatal. So, if you saw the post from uh, the previous post I did, we were talking about the gas pollution in the capital area, uh, and that's you know fairly far from where it is. We'll talk a little bit about gas pollution in a second, uh, but that's one of the the main dangers that they said. The glowing magma can also cause wildfires in the region, and that will significantly reduce air quality near the eruption. So you have the actual pollution from the eruption, and then of course uh, fire pollution and smoke. Obviously now, looking at the danger map and talking about this, new fissures can open in this area with little to no notice. So that's also an extremely dangerous thing. You don't want all of a sudden lava to be pouring out and you're trying to escape it by foot. And of course, uh, lava can fall from the edges and the rim of lava causing a rapid and sudden advance of as new lava tongues break out of the lava rim at high speeds that are difficult or impossible to avoid while running. We've seen videos before of people getting really close. We saw the lava, uh, the the wall of the cone collapse the other day. All of this can happen, and it's going to be very difficult, if not impossible, to escape it by foot. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, the Icelandic Meteorological Office they do post, and uh, here we have it here under earthquakes, uh, major volcanoes, gas pollution. Uh, I can put a link to this if you would like. I'll put that in the description. Here they have a estimate or a forecast of the gas pollution from the volcano. So if we can see, as I sort of step this through, you can see down here, we're looking at Friday and Saturday. They don't give a huge amount of information or notice. It's not you know this big thing, but two days. So as I step through, you can see Friday around 12. And then we go into 6 o'clock, midnight. And then we go into Saturday, where we can see more pollution is coming. I feel bad for all the people that live sort of closer to that Keflavik area, because um, the pollution is definitely hitting them hard. I mean, we, as I said, we got uh, a notice in the capital area, but it's nowhere near the type of uh, stuff that they're getting because of this wind direction right now near the eruption there. So that's what you can take a look at. If you're looking at going to the eruption, Take a look at, at this page to, and, and check to see what the quality is like because you don't want to go there if it's going to be really terrible. Now, one last thing that I wanted to show is 
here we have an image or sort of a, two images um, that someone took and I'm going to remember the name because I'm going to go down Daniel Pat Yon son uh, so he took these images and what they're showing he tried his best posted it on Facebook to show two different dates uh, I believe they're only a couple days apart yeah the 10th to the 18th so July 10th to the 18th these are the two images and you can see how much the lava has advanced in that short period of time. I mean, it's quite remarkable. Uh, I believe he was saying that they were about 10 meters tall or so, uh, which is quite, quite high. Um, amazing that we're sort of able to get so close to this eruption. You can see a car down here. You can see cars. Uh, everyone's driven up uh, a car, even right here, right down here by this uh, lava tongue. But now, of course, these roads are gone. So it's, I want to show you this picture. It was really cool, and I wanted to make sure to get this out there. Uh, thank you for him for posting this on Facebook. Credits to uh, to him for taking that picture twice, and I'm sure that he'll be posting more. So uh, I don't know, join some Facebook groups. So hopefully you'll be able to uh, find pictures like this just like I have. But again, I'm going to post a, a link to this gas pollution. Take a look at that, and be mindful of the danger zone once again. So if you are going there, be safe. So until next time, I'll be sure to update you with anything that comes up. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching.